Hello, my name is Kai Johnson and I'm from the Stag Barber Shop in Eastwood, Nottingham. Today we're going to be cutting Keelan's hair. Uh, what would you like, my friend? Uh, just a skin fade, please, and a sick pine. From the inside, yeah? Yeah, just on the inside. Okay, that's fine, my friend. Sort that for you. No worries, mate. So, you're going to join a beard trim as well? Yeah, yeah, please. Sweet, line that in. Yeah. Get it nice and sharp. Yeah, Sweet, <coughs> on the top. So, do you want to keep the length? What do you want to do with um, it? Take a bit off. Not too much though, just take a bit and then a bit off the front. Sweet, sweet. So do you want to, do you want to keep that, that square shape that we normally do yeah, on yeah, the sides? Yeah. And then, yeah, that's fine, we're sweet. Keep the shape, shape in the side there. Yeah, sweet, that's fine. Let's get going. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be just going to wet it down to get it back to its natural state so I can see how it's going to be because I don't know if he's had a hat on or if he's, uh, I don't know, slept on it funny. So I'm just going to wet it a little bit. Some people wash it, you can do that if you like. Um, it's, it depends on how bad the hair really is, whether I wash it or not. He hasn't got a major bed head but he's got a bit of hat hair as we say. So I've just got a bit of water in it just to get the shape back into it. And then just before I go to clipper, I'm going to just make sure that where I'm going to be clipping isn't so wet. You don't want that going through your clippers. So I'm going to start with the wall magic clips. Go with the number two. So all I'm doing basically is just going through, creating the guide. So then when I go through to put my skin in, I don't go too much into where I don't need to go. So I'm going to put my zero line in with my war seniors. I'm going to take the rest of the weight out with the boldings. Nice and quiet. Yes, no noise at all. I like to use these instead of the detailers because sometimes when you're taking a lot of bulk out with detailers, it can clog them up. These uh, a normal size clipper so you can take a lot of nice weight out without putting too much strain on the clipper. So I'm just going to go through and just quickly line up this edge. So you first do one side and then yeah? Yeah, so I, yeah, I always, yeah, I, I always just to bake it up a little bit so you're not, you can, you can keep an eye on where you're doing your clippers and you can see what, you're, so you're not walking around to the other side and then oh, forgetting where you just cut. You've always got your eye on where you're going to be cutting. So I'm just going to get my 0.5 guard now. Keep it closed. You can you can use the 0.5 on there, but it, it all depends on the personal per, personal preference of how you like to start your fades. I'll take a little bit of the. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to go down to the zero, just to. Keep an eye on that line there. So I've just grabbed this brush just to, because with the comb, sometimes you can't grab all the hair to get it in a nice way. And because obviously Keelan's uh, mixed race, his hair is sometimes a little bit more too much wavy. So what we do is we use the brush just to keep that in nice. So I can just see a tiny little piece here and I'm just going to quickly go through. So what I've done is I've just got my zero on and I've just flicked it to a quarter, a tiny little piece. So I'm just going to go through now and just scissor it in a tiny little piece 
I'm not going to scissor it in too much because like I say, we still like to keep that square shape just to get the fade in nicely. So any little pieces that I see by eye with my hand and my thingy, what I like to do is just get this little comb. It comes with the wall boldings. You don't normally get it with a, uh, any other clipper. And it, what that does is it's just a really fine tooth comb and you can really, really pick out. any tiny little bits. And basically we're just going to repeat the whole process. We're going to go through two, skin, zero, skin, boldings, 0.5 on the guard, one on the guard, and just go through it. Yeah, it's only been the last year or so that we've been able to um, really push Keelan's beard through with a nice strong line all the way through. It's, uh, it's coming nice into shape now. So it's, uh, he's doing really well with it. So you can see on this side, Keelan's got a really strong hair growth where it really pushes back. So what I try and do is, is keep the clipper movements with the grain, against the grain, sorry. So it keeps it nice when it flows back with the grain. So again, I'm just going to get my little comb, go through fine tooth. And just really pick up them tiny, you can see just tiny little ones here. Just, I'm looking at, you can see just a different colour, different shade. So now we've done the both the sides. We're going to go through and you can see, we're just going to connect the two. So I'm going to get my number two. And again, just go through the guide, making sure that we're not going too much into the crown or the hair to keep that shape. Sometimes if you go with a, a bigger guard and it's not going to do much and you can't hear much coming off it. Still sometimes do it because it will always make your scissor taping a lot easier. So again, same process, 0.5, one, <coughs> one guard, take off, quarter. So with your facial hair, buddy, would you like any length off it? Um, just a, a little, a little, bit, you know I mean? little nitpicky ends. Keep the line consistently through the chin. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Get a nice little shape underneath here. Yeah, yeah. So with Keelan underneath his neck here, <laughs> we sometimes take it shorter. But what happens is it, it comes up with, uh, with what we like to say is shaving rash. So what I do is I only take it down sl slightly with the clippers, not so short so we don't get any hairs that A, go underneath the skin that irritate it or anything like that. So we just get the details and just lightly scrub that to, get rid of, to make it look lighter and to make it, it got the nice shape underneath but just so it doesn't irritate him too much. So I just like to make, when I'm Get, start doing the beard trims in the chair. Just like to give it a good, nice comb through. Get it all going the same way.
So I just like to make sure when I'm doing that back line that if I came it backwards, he's not going to get some mad long hairs coming back and irritating his ear. So just give it a nice comb through there. And then go through. It's going to come through. I'm just going to put a little guide in there. Come back to that in a minute. So if you noticed, I've gone each side and I've put a guide in. Just as I've done each side and back line. So then when I bring the chin up, you can already see. So you don't have to mess around and try and think, oh, where's that need to go? Then all you need to do then is put a line in the middle. And then all you need to do then is join them up lightly. So light pressing on here. Any pressure and you're going to take the hair too short and it's going to go under the skin and, and cause irritation. I never try and run the clippers exactly over the Adam's apple. That can cut. So I'm just going to get the neck brush. Let's have a dust off, so make sure we've got any ones that aren't attached. If they are, go through and get them. What I'm going to do now, now we've got the shape there, I'm just going to go through with my scissors and just literally look at the profile of the shape. If you see any of the little whispery ones that's coming off into his cheekbone and his jawline. So what I'm doing here from this angle here is looking straight down and I'm looking at the shape of his neck, the shape of his face, looking through it all and just making sure that his beard is consistent with the shape of his face and head. So a lot of people when they try and do this under here you, 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 you kind of find somewhere to balance, you just use your finger to rest on. So I'm going to go through and get the foils. I'm going to just go through the bottom of his fade. Make sure that it's nice and tidy at the bottom of his fade. And then also at the cheek line. I'm going to bring my cutthroat into it, but I'd just like to go through with this first. <laughs> It's quite weird because when I first started barbering, these weren't that popular. And then the closest thing that we did was out of the cutthroat. And then you had to struggle to try and get it out with the clippers that we had. But then they brought these out. Then they had the, um, we've got the wall and the andis. They're both as good as each other in my eyes. So it's got some argan oil. Just going to rub it into his beard and his face. So what this will do as well, this will make it nice and smooth when I want to go through with the cutthroat as well. Got to make sure that the skin's nice and tight here. That won't hurt the guy. You don't, don't worry about like I say, I'm not going to go too far under there with a the blade because it gets irritated. Magic. 
You want simplicity? Grab the Styling Balm. It's designed for your hair and your beard. It will give a sand finish with a medium hold. No, it's not a conditioning product. It's a styling product. Styling Balm over at beardbrand.com.